here's the deal. This is the bonus episode of Scams, Scams, and Schemes. We are trying to decide if making $378,000 a year as a Fiverr freelancer is possible. Full disclosure, I am a full-time freelancer and I have not been homeless. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm a recovery freelancer because I wanted health insurance. Ah! So I guess we have some knowledge, but also I think we got to go back to the disclaimer that this show is our highly misinformed opinion. Oh, yeah. But and comedy only. Based on way too much personal experience. <laughs> yeah, right? All right. Yeah. So we're going to watch a video and you'll react with us and if you want to hear our verdict just hop on over to anisimiller.com forward slash scams with three s's and uh yeah and you'll hear our verdict i feel like i'm watching a perfume commercial a hummer. <laughs> so, <laughs> two, two, two things, two things. A lot of gurus say I make X amount per year, but how many years in a row do you have to make X amount before you can say I make X amount per year? Hmm. Do, do you see this, the, the slip, slip, of, slip of the hand? If she hits, so in this video we'll watch, we'll see that she will hit this 378 once, well, how, like, just because you hit it once, how do we know next year is going to be good for you? you see? That's the worst thing about freelancing is that you have nothing steady. You don't know for sure what your income is going to be. Yeah. But she has a system and she says a full-time freelance writer. Oh, I also wanted to say something about living in Florida and not having to pay income tax or something like that, state tax. Oh, it was uh, yeah. So our lovely resource, Daniel Rosehill, link in the show notes. Uh, he has a full breakdown and there's a lot of juicy freelance tea that we don't have time to get into right now. <laughs> So she's ghostwriting ebooks and blog posts. And she charges um, $1,000 to 10,000 words. Devin, can you do the quick math for me? Uh, it's like 10 cents a word? Uh, 10,000 words for $1,000? 10 cents a word, yeah. 10 cents a word. Okay. Hi, Bonicia here. Um, <laughs> I work in America, the first world, and also in St. Martin, the third world, the Caribbean. And I will go full disclosure. Um, yeah, because you can freelance from anywhere, right? So I have clients in the Caribbean. Some of my clients in the Caribbean pay me 15 American cents per word. This top rated guru is getting is demanding 10 cents per word i don't know what you Devin, but if i have enough work to go full time right but i'm charging less than third world prices <laughs> wouldn't you just double your price and work part-time 
I am, frankly, I'm surprised that, you know, I, I was clearly underselling myself the entire time I was freelancing because I had to work for years to work up to 10 cents an hour uh, a word. I, yeah. Uh, and yeah, and that's part of the scam too, is that, you know, she never talks about like cutting back on hours like, oh, I've made enough. I can relax. There's so, like this like constant hustle of working like 80 hour weeks in order to make you know, as much money as you possibly can, because the point is actually just hoarding money. Like that's, what kind of life is that? I, <laughs> I will be honest, once I break a grand, it's very hard for me to wake up in the morning. <laughs> I have a cheap, frugal hole. Like every month I tell myself, Benicia, you should aim for three grand. And then like I make it to a grand and I'm like, oh, oh. Uh, like what, what like because you already save so much money as a freelancer you're not buying clothes you're not paying for transportation all your meals are in so meal prep is not a problem unless you're some idiot ordering like uber eat shout out to all the uber eat drivers so like yeah no i'm oh and then this is a key she's charging a thousand dollars for a ten thousand word ebook and look how long it takes her to write it Yeah, 10,000 words in two days, Devin. <laughs> so much quality over quantity questions that, you know, in just two seconds of video. It's like how much... Right? And I love that we froze with her eye like that because, baby, that's how I'm looking at you. I'm like, girl, 10,000... <laughs> okay, listen. I have a weekly humor column. It's 500 words. I have to pump this out about 30 to 40 weeks a year because there's holidays, yada, yada, right? So I am trained to write the 500-word essay. And I am telling you, baby, it takes me, like, actually writing two hours to pump out the 500 words and polish it. But really, I am, like, in bed, thinking for a joke, watching a story. It takes time. Right, yeah, you have to out the amount of time it takes to write. You got, yeah, you know. and that that is comedy, creative writing, technical writing is way more intensive. Mm. I'd say that's a sliding scale of intensive. <laughs> so she's saying she's writing books that. about dogs. Yeah, they, and she says. It should take 60, but she's doing it. Sean, cut this ad. I'm going <laughs> to, um, how do I mute this? Yeah, she's taking 60 hours of work and squishing it down into 40. Thoughts? Is she? Yeah, like, I mean, you know, because mm -hmm. she yeah. doesn't actually say, like, I think at one point in the in this, you know, like, ad posing as journalism that it shows up, uh, yeah. No, I'm I'm playing it on mute, but I'm listening to you because some of yeah, like we right. don't really need to listen to all this bullshit. I can put the yeah, she, up. she's not squeezing you know uh, you know into 60, 40 hours into sixty or sixty into forty. She's working like you know like an ungodly amount of hours, and that's if we're taking it at face value that she's actually doing all the things she says and isn't just farming it out to people that she's you know, paying less than what she makes in order to claim all this as a profit. And the crazy thing is, if she's farming it out, she's asking the client for 10 cents a word, right? So she has to, let's say she gets 50% to the freelancer. That freelancer is earning 5 cents a word. But then we have to pay taxes. I pay up to 30%. I pre- Oh, God, I'm going to prepay my taxes up to 30%. So for every dollar I earn, I only really get to spend 70 without, like, worrying. So, so like, yeah. No, she's taking home two cents a word to write. That's ridiculous. <laughs> also, yeah. when I was a staffed writer at a daily news publication, I probably, did I write 10,000 words? I wrote about 
four to six articles a day. Two will be long features, meaning up to 1,200 words. And then the rest would be three to 500 words. So help me count that quick math. If this is 12, 12 and 12 is 24. 24 plus five is 29. 29 plus five is 34. 34 plus five is 39. Yes, 39 yes. plus five is 44. That's half, half as a staff writer, someone getting health insurance and vacation time off. That's half. And that was like a busy day. Well, by a busy day, I mean like I, I, uh, was busy I, enough to me. Yeah, I intentionally staggered my work because the worst thing in a daily newsroom is showing up and having no stories. So I always, don't tell my editor, I always kept <laughs> one to two press releases from publication so that I can start the day with two stories. And then, like, I just, like, stagger it out. So, so every day, I would spend eight hours writing about 4,400 words. And it wasn't just me. It was me, and then I had a copy editor. So, I was really, like, rushing out those words with no proper spell check or whatever in place. How is she writing a 10,000-word book? in two days. <laughs> She's not writing a draft. She's writing for her client. Yeah. That's and can you that, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a draft. It's not a real book, but you know, she's getting paid for it. And yeah, I think that doesn't the the quality come into question later too that you know the Daniel Rosehill article. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, read Daniel Rosell article on um, Medium is amazing. I was going to ask you, you were a ghostwriter, right? Uh-huh. What is, how is the job? What is the process? Is it just write it once, the client loves it, walk away? Uh, well, yeah, if you're lucky. Otherwise, you can, you know, like, you know, lose your whole weekend because you have to, you know. Uh, I'm looking for the magical the word. word. It's an R. Yeah. What's that magical word that free life, freelancers hate with an R? Re, rewrite. <laughs> right. And that is like the biggest cost eater. So she's pumping out the draft in um, two days. That doesn't mean the client wants it. The client is going to go back and be like, change this, change this, and this. And then what? Is she pumping out a new draft and charging more? Or is she giving it for free? I, I offer, hey, hey folks, I offer you one <laughs> free draft of revisions. Find out more at onisimiller.com forward slash hire dash. <laughs> Anyways, so I, I feel like I'm talking over you over this episode. Yeah, you're fine. You have more experience than I do. I, I, I lasted like, you know, all of like three years doing freelance before I was just like, no, I need health insurance and I need to, you know, to have someone else taking out the taxes for me because that was, that was the other thing that killed me. I made like 20 grand, you know, less than 20 grand a year and had to pay like a thousand dollars, more than a thousand dollars in taxes at the end of the year. It just, Oh, we got to talk. We got to talk about, uh, uh, tax avoidance, baby. <laughs> not tax evasion tax evasion is evil tax avoidance like writing it's off your netflix legal. that's legal so yeah legal yes that's what i mean yeah. <laughs> do we want to relive this entire video look friends we're four minutes into it right um we're how do i okay i stopped sharing welcome well, back <laughs> we're four minutes into this bonus episode if you want to hear our actual thoughts and judgments just head over to the actual episode all right